Hey everyone, this is Nigel. This is my 99 Dodge Ram. He is a the 3.9 V6. Why the 3.9 V6? Because he is the first truck I bought and that's all the money I had for 1500 bucks. Of course I put in a new engine, uh, new tires, the step bars right there, and of course all the extra stuff in here. Now, this is an ARE camper with a really cool back. The hatch opens up like an SUV, and you see that big door right there. When it's closed, you can open that up, and you can go in and out without having to open this whole thing up. Now, up over here, so I have my kayak up over there. That roof rack was from Pull Apart, and I got that from a three-door Jimmy or a Blazer. That's like 50, close to 48, 51 inches long. I think I tried to measure. I went through the whole place, tried to find something. This is the closest one I can find. and actually fits pretty well. Holds like 105 pounds. Kayak's probably 40 pounds. Holds it pretty nice. Um, this does have the sliding uh, windows with the screen mesh in it. Now this right here, I was having a hard time trying to find a... Uh, a bike rack that will fit especially with this hatch in the way so I just ended up getting one of those hitch racks right here and I wanted to weld this thing I think it's on uh, plated steel but they said it's kind of screw up the paint so they ended up just screwing it there's already a big hole like one of these guys right here in the top one and then they just made a smaller one right below it and it seems to be holding pretty well and here's my bike now my philosophy with truck camping or stealth camping or whatever is uh, I gotta be able to afford it. I already put in a lot of money in the truck so everything in here can be bought in Lowe's, Walmart, Target, whatever. There's my bike. It looks pretty fancy. I just like to customize stuff but those are sticker bomb I had from my other car. I just had some extra so I just stuck it on there. Uh, this right here is actually zip tied on. I was gonna bolt it on but the zip tie is actually working pretty well. This is what I'm using for my toolbox right now. That little can right there is actually a emergency fire. That thing right there is filled with toilet paper, took out the little core and then stuffed it all in there. Plus, filled it with alcohol, it's gotta be 91%, and you'll have a um, burning stove or fire pit thing, clean burning, so it doesn't emit any fumes or anything like that. Uh, I got this thing just because we were throwing it out and I was like, I have to use that. This thing can hold 500 pounds, but uh, the little mesh wires are kind of flimsy, so it helps. Plus, I got that guy over there. He's scared of jumping up. Made him a little bit easier. And for this person to jump in the truck. I got a bunch of bottled water. And I got that jug right there. I got this thing tied down with ratchet straps also with this because this is the bungee straps are what's holding the paper towel together um i got my water bottle that's what actually i'm using to rinse out my dishes when i wash it i'm using this right now as a tub slash dish holder for dirty dishes um trying to figure out how to warm it up efficiently but I'm going to Walmart and I'm getting one of those cheap shoe racks or little shoe pouches like this guy right here. I just cut the first top off and use that for my shoes. And the rest of it I've been just cutting individually and velcroing or finding a way to stick it on there for this. I got that for my lights up over there. Um, in the truck, I don't want to go with carpeted bed rugs or anything like that just because I was still trying to figure out where the leaks were and using just silicone to to fix it all up. So I just silicone all the windows and all the uh, the uh, cracks and stuff like that. But this thing works pretty well just because I know I have dogs and they get muddy. That dude is wanting to go in the water so it gets dirty and muddy a lot. So I opted with this plus this to just make it look nicer. Um, I got, I was gonna build some sort of bed system that can extend out, but once I started building stuff up, I was like, uh, I'm too lazy. 
and I actually just ended up buying this. I think this is a Coleman um, thing. And if you're wondering how it fits over the bed frame, I ended up cutting that part off and to go right over the, the, the wheel well right there. This thing right here, don't throw this away. This is what's stabilizing it. So once you cut that part off, drill another hole and stick this through there. Because if you don't, this thing's going to sway back and forth. And that little block over there is a hole and I just filled it up with, with these little things. And this thing's actually insulated the um, all the cracks where the door closes. So works pretty well. Now up in here, it's talking about my bubble wrap to insulate the windows. All you got to do is take the water bottle that I have, spray down the windows, and voila. You got privacy slash you still got the lights coming in here. And actually, this this um, bed thing is pretty nifty because it sinks down so I have plenty of headroom. I'm 5'7 and my head is barely touching the, uh, the roof just because the seat sinks down. And so with all of us here, we're pretty comfy. I'm sitting down. I got plenty of space. We all just kind of cuddle up in here. This is their dog food. Everything's tied down. Now this is my cooler. If you guys are having a hard time trying to figure out how to refrigerate your your stuff, I got one of these. Keep it hot, keep them cold. They're waterproof. And right now I just have six eggs in there and they're actually really cold. And that's been in there since Monday and it's what is it? One, oh, it's been a week now. That's still in there. Sweet. So if you guys want to keep your food dry and keep them cold, that's one way to do it. Now, I got these little things from Target. Uh, basically just slide off. They were able to slide off, but I got all the stuff in here. This is basically all my tools. Uh, extra junk in there. I got little pouches to keep them kind of organized. Hopefully that helps. This thing I got, I found in the trash. I'm just kind of keeping my stuff in there. I was thinking about doing electricity back over here and doing this, like solar panels and stuff like that and I realized what am I really doing? All I have is two cell phones and a, a laptop. So 150 watt inverter is really all I need and I can run off the, um, the battery out front. And I was trying to jerry-rig something back over here so I found this extension cord for one of these things and I'll show you up front what I did. This is my food storage bins, just a lot of dried food, canned food, rice. Um, I do have this thing, kind of nifty. Heats your water up, you gotta have your car on. 12 volt, hooks up to that thing. And I also got this thing for my, when I do my, my dishes. It's an immersion heater, plug it up. Also got the, gotta have the car on so the battery doesn't die. Um, Keep it on and warms up the water so you got warm water to do your dishes. This stuff right here, I don't really know what to do with it, but it's got my toothbrush stuff. Uh, contact lenses, shaving, some miscellaneous stuff. Now this right here I'm really proud of. I'm not really a carpenter or anything like that. I actually sat here for two hours in the spot trying to visualize what I was going to do. And I had all these grand plans of building up this huge shelving system. And I ended up with this. Pretty simple, two by fours, mostly two by fours, and uh, screws. And I really like this top that I bought. It's like 16 bucks. I think this is um, either 16 inches, 15 inches, I think. Same thing down there. Now this is a one by two. I just got that just because fit because I got about nine inch clearance and I can pull everything out. Uh, this is 22 liters. That was 14 bucks. That's a must. Carbon monoxide and fire alarm. Just in case. All my lights are all touch. Dimmers. I got them for three a pack. I got one over there. And I got one over there. And it keeps it pretty light in here. Now this thing is my netting. I use the top. I was originally going to use these for my clothes, but clothes are going to be way too heavy and they sag down and they hit my head. So I usually 
I use it to uh, store the bubble wrap because I got to keep that clean. I got to keep this clear so I can actually see. This one I can just look over my left shoulder and I'll see outside for my blind spots. But yeah, this is pretty good for holding down your cell phone if you're watching YouTube. Uh, holding miscellaneous clips, anything like that. Here's some more bubble wrap. Um, let's see. I also got these um, Ziploc thingies with the vacuum seal. And I have one of those. Let me see if I can pull it out. But that's a heater I bought. It's also a 12 volt. And it's also a fan too. So that is a mattress inflator slash vacuumer. So I use that to vacuum out my, um, my Ziploc bags and keep the air out of the bags. There's tarp. And I actually have a lot of space. I have a uh, tent back there. Here's a tarp I'm going to put over the front if I need it. I don't know, I bought that for my laundry, but I kind of, I don't know if I'm going to use it. This is the terracotta pot I was talking about. So it's got to be, that's my hand right there. That's that size. It's got to be pretty small. The other one that I tried had a bigger outer bell, but like I said, it had too much uh, surface to cool down before it started heating up. So, just uh, washers, nuts, and a screw. And I didn't know what to do to elevate it for the candle, so I just got these clamps. Works pretty well, and the rubber feet keep it in place. Uh, for my bed, this thing actually came with this mattress. And I bought one of those toppers. And it's almost as comfy as my $2,000 bed. I'm, I'm good with it. I got a, that's, this is pretty useful. If you get one of those body pillows, you can just wrap it around. The coldest parts are the metal stuff right here. So I usually put a blanket right there. And this thing keeps it from getting too cold. Same with the pillows, same with this thing. Um fire extinguisher uh, uh, this is my knife it's about a pound so if anybody wants to get fresh with me while I'm here this is the don't rake me knife and what else cleaning supplies for breeze it's a must with these dogs also got my fishing stuff back over there oh yeah this is I bought this too yesterday for 40 bucks Pretty handy. I got a cutting board, plastic knife, 50 cents at Walmart for each of these things. Vegetable peelers, condiments, just in case I don't want to do dishes and plastic silverware. Uh, that's a must. Figuring out now that everything sticks to these cheap pans that I got. So, thermos, this is where I keep my plastic dishes. I drilled it down to the thing so it doesn't move. Holds all my dishes. I got four of each. Now this thing, I was walking by Lowe's and I was trying to figure out how I was going to cook outside. So this is one of those closet things. Buy one of those. Get one of these little arms that stick out. It's supposed to be facing this way to work. But I end up zip tying this together and make it elongated. All I gotta do is take it off, fold this down, and put it under there. And I still got plenty of space. That is where I keep my propane and some other stuff. Um, oh yeah, the bike rack. I don't know if I talked about the bike rack. I said it. Let's see. Oh, I was going to show you guys how I jerry-rigged my thing. I'm also in the military. I am a combat medic, so this is my aid bag. Probably the biggest medical uh, first aid kit you'll see in a truck. All right. So, it's a $1,500 truck. I don't really care. I tried to drill it. Didn't really work out. I tried to just drill little holes and then just hammer it through, basically. Stick it through there and let's see, 
it goes through the window right here. And it just plugs into my my outlet that stays on all the time. The top one only stays on when I'm driving. And that's where I keep my 150 watt inverter because I don't know if this will kill my battery if I leave it on overnight. This is powering my my laptop slash cell phones when I'm driving and that's really the best way to charge stuff is when you're you're riding and that's when your alternator uh, charges the battery. Uh, other than that, that's about it. I'm going to be traveling across the U.S. Uh, mostly the East Coast right now is what I'm planning. So, wish me luck. That's, uh, that's all I got for you guys. If you guys have any more ideas, tips, or questions, anything like that, let me know. Uh, just message me up. I'll be happy to help you guys out. Thanks.